Hello and welcome to the tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to install the slider and uh, login buttons for the PHP Fox Simple White Theme by ThemeDorks. So to get started we have uh, downloaded the theme package and we're now going to install the uh, slide folder which we have saved here. So it's the slide.zip folder that we're looking for. So we're going to upload it like so. Uh, we can see there is the slide.zip. So here we go. Uploaded the documents. Reload. You can see there is the slide folder, so we're going to extract it like so, and here is the slide here. So it's now going to go through the install process, and to do so I visit the URL. slide install. So this will be your URL of your PHP Fox site. The slide is in the slide directory plus install on the end. So we go here and it asks us to set up the, uh, the slideshow. So it could not connect to database. So we do need to set up the database and configure the script. So I'm going to log in here, we're going to go to the slide, we have the config file, so there, there is also a readme included with the slide package, but um, we can just config use the config file. So here we have the dat database. So I'm going to use this as my database and my password. I'm going to copy that, save these changes, close this, close this. I'm now going to create the database using the database wizard. Create the user for the database, assign all privileges. Now I should be good to install, click set up, and there we go, it has been successfully installed. By default the login is admin and password, you can change this by logging in. So we're going to change the password once we've logged in here. So by default it does have uh, a slideshow there, I'm going to click on the options first, is it staff, staff, edit the admin here, you have an email address and you can change the password like so. It's important to do that. Um, now we can add our pictures to our slideshow. So I can do this just by um, moving this one. Uh, choose a new file. So you can get the image pack. Uh, I'm going to show you where you can 
download the image pack from. Have it here. There they are. Slide one. There's my slide one. Go back to pictures. Where did I save it? So you must save it by hitting the bottom here. There's my slide one. Slide two. I'm going to remove this image. Choose file, there's my slide 2, upload this one. So you can edit these images, uh, size them yourself uh, to anything you like. There's my slide 2, let's save this one. Edit the third image. Remove this one, choose a new picture, add the slide. Upload this one and save it. So there we go, we've got our slide all ready to go. So I'm going to um, go back to the site here. And uh, you see our, our site is this one here. And you have to go to this one here to see a, a non logged in version because we're going to be using the slide for the uh, visitor, the non logged in user. So this will be the slide here. Um, we're going to make our way over to the admin CP now. And uh, in the README file, you'll be able to find links to the forum where you can uh, get all this code and download all the images that uh, I've been using. Uh, if they're not included in the theme file, which I think they are, you make your way over to the CMS, manage the blocks, and it's core index of visitor. So by default, we have the registration block. So here's the block we need, created. So we're going to go to CMS, add new block under blocks, and it's core, the module is user. We're going to call it welcome slide. Controller is for index visitor. Block four. You can allow access to all groups. So I'm simply going to copy this code here. And this will be the code that's available in the forum. 
and I just need to change the URL yeah to my URL of my PAP box site. And the images. So we will also need to change the URL of the register. We'll change this here. Also the mobile. And the login. So we're going to also have to change the uh, image, image URLs, but first we're going to upload them. So I'm going to submit this. And check out. Oh, it hasn't been added. That's because we do have to activate it. For some reason, it didn't get added. So we're going to try once more. It's the welcome slide. Ones. You have to select the HTML code there. Block number four. So I'm now going to drag the code over. I need to replace the URL with my PHP box URL here. Same with the register. I'm going to replace the register, the mobile URL, and the login URL. So once I've done that, I can go back and edit the uh, images. So we're going to submit this. We're going to check our controllers, and um, we can uh, deactivate this one, and then check. So there we go. We now have it. So this is a bit small. Um, one of the reasons is we do need to edit this to make it larger. So to do that, so I'm simply going to get the size for the slides. 980 by 300. So I go back to the slide, add slide to the end of the URL, log in with my username and password. And I need to edit the size of this to 980 by 300. So you can also change the transition duration and the effect. We've got a number of effects we can use there. So when I refresh this page, this will now fit perfectly on there. So that's the tutorial, that's how you install the slider into the PHP box, simple white template by Themeborks. Thanks for watching, bye for now.